Well, they're now officially in full ownership of the second of nine Defense Force vessels as Derwood Knowles was handed over to the Bahamas government this afternoon. Officials from Damon Shipyards took part in the signing with government officials for the 142-foot vessel, which made the journey from Holland. Minister of National Security, the Honorable Dr. Bernard Nottage, said he was pleased that the vessel was completed ahead of schedule. Now, this vessel is expected to be commissioned at month's end. Commodore of the Royal Bahamas Defense Force, Roderick Bowe, said training was the first order of business for crew members. We, we are very pleased with the performance of the vessel that we have, the Arthur Dion Hanna, and we are looking forward to a similar experience with this new vessel. Uh, some of the crew members were trained in Holland, and the other members of the ship are now undergoing training, and we will continue with the training until it's commissioning, when once she's commissioned, she's, she's to set sail. A five-member crew from the Defense Force that included Lieutenant Commander Christopher Darville made the almost 4,000-mile journey back to the Bahamas. Darville says he's pleased with the vessel's operational capabilities. It was an opportunity to further integrate uh, with the craft and to learn a bit about its dynamics, its capabilities, uh, and any limitations, if there are any. It is so user-friendly, the craft itself, uh, integrated systems that there was no difficulty at all in adapting quickly to the platform. It makes life uh, a lot easier out there.